Hello guys, let me introduce you with iterators. Iterators are a way to loop through different data structures, and they are used in collection framework to retrieve elements one by one. We have different data structures inside of the collection framework. So here I've listed some of them. We have an array list, linked list, hash set, and reset. As you can see down here, that the implementations are different from each other. So it means that they store data in a different way. So let's look through the usage. The first, we import iterator from utility package. And here I've created an array list with integer values and added four different items to my list. So the first thing that you should note that iterators don't start on a value, it starts before it. So my iterator starts here before the 15. So if when we are going to create an iterator, we don't use new keyword here because there are different implementations for different data structures. We have three methods which we can use for iterators. So let's start with the next method. So next method moves iterator from first position to the next and returns the preceding element. So here output will be the 15. So let's talk about the remove method. If we want to remove this first element at the first, we should call the next method and after that call the remove method. So it will remove the preceding element. If we want that to remove the second element, we call the next method twice and after that call the remove method so it will remove the preceding element. So and here I have an array list with three elements in it. So let's continue with another example. I've created here an array list with string values. My list is come as you are. So with next method, I want that come stored as a string. So in output, I have an error because iterator stores and returns only object types. To pull this problem out, we should uh, class casting it as a string, so it will print as come. The better way to do it, it would be use a type parameter here, which indicates that everything in my list uh, is going to be a string. So I think that everything is clear, then let's do the practice part. Here, uh, in this example, I want to show you um, <coughs> iterators with different data structures. Here I've created all these lists and sets with different data types. And uh, with simple for loop, I fill these elements in integer types between 1 and 10, in double types between 0 and 0.99. And here I've created an iterator for each data structures to retrieve elements stored on them. To print all elements out, I use a simple while loop with has next method sort method which we can use for iterators. And it, it's a boolean type and it returns true if we have more elements to iterate. So while it's true, it will print the uh, elements print the next elements so let's run this program and uh, see the differences between data structures so here in my array list i have uh, 10 elements in my linked list also 10 elements in my hash set we have only four elements because hash set don't store the duplicate elements in tree set, as you can see, that elements are stored by ascending order. So I think that it helps you. So goodbye.